Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to troubleshoot OSPF neighborship. As you know, most of the time interviewer is asking questions from OSPF neighborship. How you will troubleshoot OSPF neighborship. So today in this video, actually, we are going to troubleshoot OSPF neighborship. Here, during the troubleshooting, we will cover lots of interview questions as well. So without wasting our time, let's begin. First of all, let me take you on router number one here. See, so IP interface brief IP configuration on F0 slash zero. I am running 12.1 and router number two also. Let me show you IP. So IP interface brief on F0 slash zero. I am running 12.2. Let me check connectivity ping 12.1.1.1. So from router number two, I am able to ping 12.1 success rate is 100% ping 12.1.1.2 C connectivity is there but OSPF neighborship is not working so IP OSPF neighbor okay so IP protocol I am running OSPF routing protocol over here also process ID is one and here also if you will check so IP protocol process ID one I am running so process ID same I am running on both router on router number one and router number two guys to troubleshoot OSPF neighborship and or uh, and to form OSPF neighborship process ID is not required OSPF never sent process ID in the update message or in the hello message okay process ID is locally significant you can configure you know same on two router as well and different on two router as well there is no any you know uh, role of process ID in the OSPF neighborship actually few people are saying that first process to troubleshoot OSPF network is we will check process ID no guys you will never check process ID okay now you can see OSPF is running on both router but OSPF neighborship is not showing so IP OSPF neighbor so I am going to troubleshoot OSPF neighborship between router number one and router number two first thing that you should check is router ID router ID on both router must be unique okay so first of all let me check router ID over here so IP OS so IP protocol and here we can say include a router ID okay I'm not able to run command like this so router ID will be like this so okay if you want to exclude so you can exclude it like this router ID so you can see router ID on router number one is 1.1.1 .1. now let me check router ID on router number two let me run this command on router number two so here also you can see router id is 1.1.1.1 .1 so router id what i told you that router id on both router must be unique so on router number two first of all i am going to change the router id this is first step router ospf1 and router id let's say 2.2.2.2.2 .2 .2 over here now if you will run that command so ip protocol include router ID you can see router ID is 2.2.2 .2 over here first requirement router ID must be unique after that area ID must be same second troubleshooting step is if interview is asking you how you will troubleshoot OSPF neighborship so first of all you will check router ID then you will check area ID okay so again so IP OSPF interface brief this command you can run to check area area id of first ethernet 0 slash 0 is what 0 let me check area id on f0 slash 0 of router 2 so ip and here you can see i am getting area mismatch error as well receive invalid packet mismatch area id from from backbone area okay so area id must match to form neighborship so ip ospf interface brief so here you can see fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on this interface you are running ospf process id 1 but area what 2 so that's why ospf will not 
work between daughter one and daughter number two so here you need to change area id okay let me take you on daughter number two f0 slash zero and say ipospf process one and area zero now area is same on both side okay how you can verify again you can run command so ip ospf interface brief so you can see area is zero and process is one on daughter number one also area is zero and process is one done so first step router id must be unique and area second step area id must match now let me check ospf neighborship so ip ospf neighbor okay so neighborship is still stuck in two way now third third thing is network type must match network type must match so let me check network type over here so ip ospf interface f0 slash 0 and here we can say network type network type so let me include let me run include command include network type so here network type is what network type is broadcast let me run this command on router number two also to check network type here also you can see network type is what broadcast so network type is same on both side so this is third requirement network must match after that let me check neighborship still neighborship is still two way so ip ospf neighbor so yes now guys if neighborship is stuck in two way state so reason can be what happened in two way state in two way state router perform dr and bdr election and as you know here my network type is broadcast so on broadcast network dr and bdr is required right dr bdr election will happen on broad net, net on broadcast network type so as you check that network type over here is broadcast on both side so dr and bdr should be there but if neighborship is not up stuck in two way state then you will check what priority maybe engineer have configured what priority is zero here you can see priority is what zero in the same way on this router also you can see priority is what so ip ospf interface brief sorry so ip ospf neighbor priority is zero but in this command also you can check priority and if neighborship you are not able to see any information here by running command so ip ospf neighbor then you can run command so ip interface so ip ospf interface brief by running this command also you can check what priority no here you are not able to see priority but here you are able to see the state a state is what dr other so as i told you on network type broadcast dr and bdr is is required so router number two is dr other and router number one is also so ip ospf interface brief this router is also what dr other so dr and bdr election is not happening so what next command you can run you can check priority so by running command so ip so ip ospf neighbor this is the first command to check priority here i am able to see priority is zero so priority zero router will never participate in dr and bdr election so that's why neighborship is not moving from two way to next state or you can run command like so run and section ospf so to check how many command engineer have run in ospf so you can see ip ospf process 1 area 0 ip ospf ip ospf priority 0 so engineer have configured priority 0 here i need to set priority non zero so interface f0 slash 0 ip ospf priority priority let's say no let me remove this command from here on the same in the same way on router number 2 also i need to remove this command do so run section ospf and you can remove this command so let me remove this command say no 
no IPOSPF priority 0. This command will work on interface F0 slash 0. Say no. No, let me paste the command done. So I have configured priority non zero. Now, so IP OSPF neighbor. Now you can see neighbor C paste in which state? In X start state. So, fourth requirement is this is third requirement that network type must match and if network type is match if network type is broadcast then you will check priority priority must not be configured as zero on broadcast network type okay and fifth requirement is fifth requirement is mtu so here my neighbor cp is stuck in access start state and on daughter number one if you build a command so ip ospf neighbor here also you can see neighbor cp is stuck in which state in exchange state and 2.2.2 .2 is DR, BDR and 1.1.1 .1 is DR. This order is DR. How you can verify that? You can run command. So IP OSPF interface brief. You can see a state is what? A state is DR. So router 1 is DR and router 2 is BDR. So IP OSPF interface brief. You can see a state is BDR. Now I need to check what MTU. Maybe MTU mismatch. That's why neighborship is not working. So, so IP interface F0 slash 0 and MTU include MTU. So, here MTU is what? 1000 byte and let me check MTU on router number 1. So, IP interface F0 slash 0 include MTU. So IP interface F0 slash 0 and include MTU. Here MTU is what? 1500 byte. So let me set same MTU both side. On daughter number 2 actually I need to change MTU. Here engineer have changed MTU because by default MTU is 1500 byte. So interface F0 slash 0 IP MTU 1500 byte done. Now, so IP OSPF neighbor. Now, neighbor CP is down. Neighbor CP is what? Down with DR, other. So, wait for some time and now here you can see the message. What message you are getting? Ignore timer expire. Ignore timer expire. And now if you will check so IP SPF neighbor, so neighborship will be full. You can see. So these six are the OSPF neighborship troubleshooting step, guys. After that, next state is you know loading state. Sometime you will see OSPF neighborship can be stuck in loading state as well. But whenever there will be problem with hardware that time only ospf never see bill stuck in loading estate generally you will not see ospf never see stuck in loading estate okay so if there will be some problem with hardware that time maybe if router are not able to exchange database then ospf never see bill stuck in loading estate okay otherwise generally these are the you know steps of ospf neighborship troubleshooting so make sure if you you are going for interviewer interview then interviewer can ask you these question lots of questions from ospf uh, troubleshooting ospf neighbor tr neighborship troubleshooting so you have practice this type of question okay if you have learned something from this video guys please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel till please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye see you